What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Mel DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to get my fair plays. We got a six game main slate. Today is the eighth. Everybody's having a great day. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. Let's get to these plays. Go to the first pick. Go to our point guard spot where I'm going to look at Cameron Payne. 5,300 on DraftKings, 66 on Fandle against Orlando. Without Booker, CP3. Cam Johnson still out. He's in play, averaging 36.7 fantasy points in the past three games. As Orlando allows an average 37.7 fantasy points to the starting point guards at home. Got to go with this spot for today. Going to our next play, going to our shooting guards. Terry Rozier, 8,200 on DraftKings, 83 on Fandle against Brooklyn. And when she's in play, he's averaging 48.1 fantasy points in the past five games. 26.6 rebounds a game as Brooklyn allows an average 31.6 fantasy points to the start of shooting guards. Would you like this play for Terry Rozier in this position for today? Going for a saving spot, Trey Mann at 5,500 on both platforms against the Bucks. Of course, his team is depleted, but he's averaging 27.3 fantasy points to the past five games at home. Milwaukee allows an average 33 fantasy points to the start and shooting guards went away. Do like this play for Trey Man for today. Going to our small forward position, we've got Miles Bridges, 7,800 on DraftKings, 69 on FanDuel, averaging 53.5 phase points in the past two games against Brooklyn, as they allow average 37 phase points to the start in small forwards. He's even power forward eligible. Do like this play for him. Another play you can also look at is Chris Middleton. Going against OKC, 7,400 on DraftKings, 75 on FanDuel. He's averaging 41.9 fantasy points in the past five games, around 28% in usage. OKC allows an average 31.8 fantasy points to the starting small forwards. He is averaging 34 fantasy points in the past three games against them this season. I really like this play for him for today. Let's go to our power forwards. Jay Crowder, 51 on DraftKings. He is priced up on FanDuel, but likes the DraftKings price point. Gets the usage bump still. In a favorable matchup against Orlando, they allow an average 32.7 fantasy points to the starting power forwards at home. He's also small forward eligible. Jay Crowder's in play for today. Another play to consider will be Evan Mobley. He is more likely going to be expected center for today without Allen. But I love the price point on DraftKings at 7,000 against the Pacers, where she's averaging 32.5 fantasy points in the past five. 13 points, nine rebounds a game. The Pacers allow the average 32.7 fantasy points to the starting power forwards. But like I said, also in play at center. Let's go to our last play, going to our center position. So like Steven Adams, 63 on DraftKings, 68 on FanDuel against the Pelicans. He's averaging 40.5 fantasy points in the past two games this season. As New Orleans allows an average 40.2 fantasy points to the start of the centers. I like this play for Steven Adams as he's been balling against them. Another play is Andre Drummond, 58 on DraftKings, but love the FanDuel price of 4,500 against Charlotte, but we know that they're horrible against the center position. Also know that Aldridge is out, but he's averaging 28.7 fantasy points in the past five away games as Charlotte allows an average 35.7 fantasy points to the starting centers. He doesn't need much time on the court as he's one of those fantasy point monsters. He does average 1.32 fantasy points per minute. So like Andre Drummond in this spot, especially on FanDuel as price point. These are my favorite plays. Like the plays, give a thumbs up, any questions comment below. Using Draft Dashboard tools and the link in my description. Want to sign up? It is a dollar up to 30 days. Want to sign up, get access to the NBA cheat sheet, sleepers and studs, lineup optimizer, generate quality lineups. Click on the watch players to get my plays up top to watch Mel DFS picks, either DraftKings or FanDuel. So I love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mel DFS and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.